What's up? This is Marty A. Johnson. Welcome to another edition of the Music Lounge, where we feature the stars of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. On today's show, I'm going to give you something a little bit different. I always give you some hip-hop and the R&B, but right now, it's all about the bands, right here on the Music Lounge. <laughs> What's up? This is Marty A. Johnson. I'm still here to introduce y'all some heavyweight contenders that's definitely shaking things up in the business. These guys here are really no stranger to shaking up things, but it's time we get up close and personal meet. The bitches love us. What's up, fellas? How's it going, man? Yo, it's going really good right now. Let's go ahead and get an introduction of get the introduction to everyone starting right here. Um, Jeffy, I play guitar and do backup screams. Okay. I'm Jeffrey. I do vocals all around. Okay. I'm Tyler. I do guitars, backup vocals, and electro. Okay, so this is the name of the group, of the band, the group, the bitches love us, right? Yes, yes absolutely. Indeed. So how did y'all come up with this name? Well, actually, it was uh, Tyler's idea. Okay. Um, he uh, really was the one that started the band. Um, he okay. brought all of us together, and uh, we... Um, Pretty much what happened was he wanted to start a band that was a lot different than anything else that really was okay. put into this state, um, in this area, really. And when we brought everything, when we brought everything together, it was kind of started out kind of be funny. You know, we played shows and stuff like mm -hmm. that. A lot of people didn't really take us too seriously because of our name. And yeah. it, it took a lot to get us to where we are right now. And right now, you know, we're finishing up our EP in about a week and we're going on tour in a couple of months, so I mean everything's starting to get moving for us really well, and I'm, you know, I'm really excited about it. You know, I'm excited for you guys. So this is pretty much like a rock band. This is pretty much more like grunge. Cause people, first thing people might say is like, okay, what's up with this band right here? This is grunge right here. This is rock. Tyler, what's up with you guys? Describe y'all look for me. Uh, we're pretty much like electro pop meets okay. a little hardcore, a little metal. Okay. But it's just straight up, you know, just being belligerent, having fun. Yo, but that's what it is. It's really good to see artists really just to be, their, be themselves, come in their own skin, because sometimes a lot of groups are like manufacturers, kind of like, you know. Absolutely. You so know. How do you feel about like artists that really don't have their own identity? They pretty much like, you know, come with the times and do what's told by their label. In my opinion, if you're not playing the music that you want to play, you shouldn't be playing music in general. It's not the right if you're not doing what you feel like you should be playing and you're being told what to do just to make money and get popular, yeah. then you're in this business for completely the wrong reasons. And what we did, we decided, you know, all of us listen to a lot of really heavier music. Okay. Um, and we all kind of grew up like in heavier backgrounds. So being in a pop band now, right, right. It, it's, we can actually like initial in more of our genre like that we listen to into what we're playing right so the style of music that we have is very unique and it's it's a lot of fun i we all have fun doing it and we all love the music that we play and we can honestly say it's no one else's but ours that's what it is so jeff let me know some influences that really inspired you or the band um i'm mostly into like uh, I guess the heavier part of the band. Um, th these two um, have been doing the pop thing for a while, and yeah. I, I came in, I guess, about a year after you guys yeah. had it going, and they asked me to just kind of, like, spice it up a little bit, okay. change it up, so I brought in some heavy, uh, did some screaming for them, and it's kind of just changed all of our opinions on okay. what we want to do, like, as far as the whole band goes. Um but I guess influences wise, it, it ranges a lot. Um, you know, we all listen to Katy Perry every day, okay, okay. if that helps. Um, <laughs> yeah. We love Katy Perry. And uh, at the same time, you know, we can get down with like, you know, suicide silence okay. and like really heavy, you know, nasty bands. We listen to everything. I hey, mean, you know, hey. it's just like we never want to limit ourselves to one thing. And it shows in our music, honestly, because, like, none of our songs sound alike. 
you know they're all the same feel but they're not you couldn't be like well this is a pop punk right, song this right. is a metal song and it's like no that's just the bitches love us yeah. okay. so that's just kind of how it goes for us i wouldn't i wouldn't really categorize us into any like influences but we kind of just do whatever the hell we want so like that's our influences but but i but i like that just be yourself yeah, exactly. but i hear you guys have like a huge huge following so how did your audience pretty much cope or pretty much come to you guys when they first see y'all when you hear the name the bitches love us what made y'all want to come up with that name which you already told us how did y'all um fan base really support y'all uh pretty much everyone liked that name uh i i came up with that name just to basically offend as many people as possible mm -hmm. okay and it, it <laughs> worked a little bit yeah. like a, a lot of people like mostly guys will say don't you think girls be offended by that and a lot of girls say, I love that fucking name. <laughs> and uh, yeah. it's just, you know, something silly I did. Everybody picked up on it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me know about the loyalty in the group. Because sometimes when I just think of, like, groups or band that come come and go, um, the first thing when I saw you guys, first thing I thought was back, back in the day were, like, Nirvana. <laughs> I, I mean, seriously, that's real talk. I thought about Nirvana. But, but to keep it current... How do y'all pretty much keep that loyalty? I know Sugar Ray, I know Daltrey, no doubt. They pretty much are pretty much consistent with the band. Do y'all pretty much going to show loyalty, or y'all pretty much just in it for a quick fix and you guys are gone after that? No, well, well um, the band together is a family no matter okay. what. We always will stick together. We are always going to be brothers. That's just how... That is one of the rules of this band. We, okay. we all will be as close as family no matter what i mean when you're on tour on the road for as long as two months you know you're going to be with them every second of the right. day right. and you have to be close to them or you're never going to survive tour and so when we all decided to be a band we all decided to be a family and we all made that pack together and we've never been happier i mean we all live together and i mean we we spend every single second of the day together and no matter what like we always know that we're still a family we're still close no matter what's said no matter how angry we get with one yeah. another it's gonna be okay and we always work it out no matter what if not the band's gonna fall apart true i think that's also um some of our influences from like the hardcore mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. stuff is like uh all the hardcore music that we listen to is all based upon like family and brotherhood right. and we've noticed that a lot of pop punk bands kind of like veto that like they don't you know they just don't give a shit frankly right, like right. they just want to play their music fuck their girls and then leave and you know we're we're more than that to right. us you know you guys are not the norm you know when you see a band it's pretty much like back in the day sex drugs and rock and roll yeah. so to speak no, y'all like rock stars don't get me wrong don't get me wrong we have our sex drugs and rock and roll okay. like that's okay. you know we have our fun but right. at the end of the day it all comes back down to like are the three of us okay and right. is our band okay right. like you know it's not about just like oh well jeffrey did you get any dick tonight or whatever you know it's it's like you know how do you feel dude like how you doing you know we all we all love each other it's more than just like instruments that bring us I together so it. it's like that's just what we do for fun you know we we all have a lot of fun with everything that we do and you know like you said we do have our fair share of sex drugs and rock okay, and roll okay. but you know um it's it's all together and no matter what and we all stick beside each other i really really like that because a lot of people are really not really for that they're pretty much just in it to get their quick little hustle and they're going especially when like there's a band is always only like one front man oh, yeah. and, and sometimes you know i think of what's his name um brett michaels yep. you know he he um left came back left came back don't know what he want to do you know i'm not knocking his hustle yeah. but you know there's bon jovi who's always loyal to his band but tell me a little bit more about this ep well uh, it's gonna be out soon hopefully yeah. right um we uh we're doing everything we can to make sure that you know with the amount of time we've been given and you know we're all kind of broke so we uh we got four songs coming out okay. and we're trying to make the best of that yeah. and uh you know we can only hope that the people who buy it and listen to it will love it as much as we do that's all we can do really okay we're going uh we're going into the studio april 5th and 6th to finish up the ep okay. we got those are our last two days and we're just going to be working on guitars bass and vocals and we'll be done drums are already recorded and we're all set with that so i'm really excited for it i'm looking forward to everybody uh trying to find REP, you know, right. 
But yeah. Do you have a title for the EP yet? Uh, it's the other EP. The other EP? Yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be kind of a theme EP. Okay. But uh. <laughs> Why don't you just say this bass? This sorry, this band um bases just about everything we do off of being completely belligerent. Okay. Uh, we love to uh piss old people off. You know, whatever. Make you know babies cry. And uh. The whole theme to the EP is um, the other guys, the movie, Will Ferrell and what's his name, Mark, Mark Wahlberg. Wahlberg. Mm-hmm. We're calling it the other EP um, just to kind of give everybody a glimpse as to who we are. Like, that movie is our everyday life. Right. All mm-hmm. the yelling and screaming and fighting and fucking everything that is just belligerent and completely uncalled for, that's us. <laughs> so yeah. To put it all in one word, rage. Yeah, just okay. just rage. Like rage. <laughs> rage is good. You know, I appreciate it so much just for y'all taking the time out and just hollering at me for a minute. For more information on the Bitches Us, y'all know what to do. Give me a call toll-free anywhere in the world at 1-877-627-8990. That's 1-877-MARTY90. Remember, 1-877-627-8990. Let's keep it locked. What up, world? This is your man, Marty A. Johnson. Right now, I'm kicking off this edition with the Music Lounge with a national recording superstar that's definitely on the rise. If you don't know, it's time to get up close and personal, Miss Vanessa Diaz. How you doing? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you so much. What a great introduction. <laughs> well, you know, you're a national recording star. People do not know, but we're going to jump right into it. Let everyone know a little bit more about you. Come a little closer, though. Come I'm not going to bite you, though. So come a little closer. Let everyone know how long you've been singing for. I've been singing all my life, really. Wow. <laughs> Uh, the second I could <laughs> start opening my mouth and okay. saying something, I was definitely singing something. Okay, so a lot. I know I got your name right, Vanessa Diaz. So got my it. viewers, first thing I might say is, okay, she's a little mix up of of what? So is this a little Spanish here? Is a little a little bit of Irish? I might be wrong, but go ahead and break it down to me. <laughs> I'm actually yeah. My father's from Cuba. My mom's from Argentina. Okay. Raised in South Florida. Okay. So I'm a little bit of a mix mutt. That's all right, but you look good, though. <laughs> Thank you. It definitely looked good. Your Thank parents you. definitely did a beautiful creation right here. Aw, you make me blush. <laughs> so tell us a little bit, because um, we got some footage to you on the stage doing your thing. Just tell us a little bit about your sound. Well, my sound has been changing so much. I mean, the first band I got in is uh, was punk rock. I mean, right. straight up, just bounce and have a good time, throw it out there. Uh-huh. Then I went folk. Now I'm going kind of alternative. I don't know what you want to call it <laughs> but that's good though because you know you're not really stuck in a box so to speak you know you no. can do whatever is clever for you so you think it's really good to be like multi-talented in this business i think it's i think music is a form of expression and once uh-huh. you kind of hone in on your craft uh right. you can kind of do any style like i mean i write i write hip-hop i write all kinds of stuff that's all that, right. you know i do whatever my heart feels like that day mm-hmm. yeah and i go with it so that's that's what it is though but let me ask you this kind of like switching gears you know you're a pretty girl there's a lot of people in this business right now how do you feel about like a lot of pressure there is just for a female getting on stage because you know if you're not showing a little tna a lot of artists not really looking at you far as the audience you get any pressure like they say show a little bit of this show a little bit of that well, how do you um keep up with the pressure <laughs> of the business because that's what it is i mean to keep it keep it real with you you know no i i understand that 100 percent and um I keep my TNA separate from my music, okay. and I do pinup modeling. Um, That's all right. So uh, I have pinup posters you can buy on my website, and um, you know I like I love doing that vintage kind of classy okay. uh, pinup okay. TNA, I guess <laughs> if you want to so, call it. That's all right. So what you basically what you're saying is your music speaks for yourself. You really don't have to do all that because your music really is coming from you, your heart, body, and so you only have to do all that extra extra stuff. I mean, I do try to look cute. I don't wear heels. <laughs> I mean, I don't wear these heels for no right, reason, right. you know? <laughs> it's all about being a woman, though. But it's, it's yes, it's about being a woman. I do like putting on the makeup for playing switching a show. It it's it's yeah. like, it's playing dress up for me yeah. when you come out and, you, you know, just touch it into it. Switch it up, keep it fresh and yeah. all that. So, um, you was with a band. What's the difference between being with a band and being solo? Oh, I'll be honest with you, I miss the drums. Okay. I, I have Latin blood. It, the right. rhythm is in my heart, it's in my blood, you know? So um, I do miss the drums behind me. Okay. Uh, but it has been such an amazing experience to be able to get up there, sing my own songs mm-hmm. that I write myself, and it's a very vulnerable place to be. It is. Very vulnerable place, and uh, 
I've definitely fallen on my face a hundred times, that's but right. you get back up, and I still mess up to this day, and I know I'll mess up 10 years from now, and that's what it is. Mm -hmm. You just do what you can, and you move forward. So let's talk about an album, things like that. So what yeah. are you working on? I just launched uh, my website, VanessaDiazMusic.com, okay. and with that, the same day, I released the first single to the next album. Um, the single's called Days Go By. Okay, Days Go By. Tell us a little bit about that. Oh, it's my new favorite song. Okay. I know it sounds crazy to have my own song be my favorite, right. but, it's a, yeah. but it's uh, it's definitely a new direction. Um, I got a, a char my, my boyfriend's name is Charlie. Okay. That's my Telecaster. Okay. <laughs> days go by. He's 57 years old and days go by. No, Charlie's okay. the, the guitar. Okay. He's a guitar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to say. <laughs> no. I don't date 57 year old okay. men. My daddy's uh, <laughs> that That's age. All right. <laughs> So, um, yeah, no, Days Go By, it's kind of got this locomotive feel to that bass, yeah. uh, to the drums mm -hmm. going, and it's full band on the, on the song, and it's available now on all di digital websites, like downloads for iTunes, Amazon, all that, but prefer to give it on my site, because then I don't have to give them my money, you know? VanessaDiaz.com. Vanessa Diaz Music. Oh, VanessaDiazMusic.com. Dot com. Yeah. So before we get wrap this up and all that, so if I go out and see one of your shows, what's some of the things that we can expect from you live? You can expect for me to spill my guts live. Okay. I tell my stories. I tell how the story uh, from the song came right. about. Right. You know, I really just share it. It, it becomes more of a storytelling okay. event, and just uh, I like I like to share the intimate moments of, of the songwriting process. Mm -hmm. So uh, you'll get all of me at the show. Okay. <laughs> so if we want to find out more about you, pick up some more music. Um, Days go by is the name of the single. What is the name of the album? Magic Tragic Roller Coaster. Magic Dragon Roller Coaster? <laughs> no, Magic Tragic. Oh, Magic Tragic. A little bit of it's okay. magic, a little okay. bit it's tragic, you know? But that's okay. So please look in the camera right here. Let them know we got Vanessa Diaz music. So you got a Twitter, Facebook, and all that. Twitter, I, Facebook, YouTube. So I got, a million, I got a million viewers. So go ahead right here real quick. Let them know how can they get at you, all your contact. You can get at me, easiest place, vanessadiazmusic.com, and uh, of course, Facebook. You can find my page, and I'm always on there updating videos and photos from shows throughout the country. So um, I hope to see you guys on my site, and uh, hopefully in your city when I play. She's coming to a city near y'all really, mm -hmm. really soon. For more information on Miss Vanessa Diaz, remember the website, vanessadiazmusic.com. And of course, call me anywhere in the world, toll free at one 877 Six two seven eight nine nine zero. That's one eight seven seven Marty ninety. I want to thank you so much just for hanging thank out with me. Thank you so much. Any, I I'm gonna give you it. the last word. Anything you want to let the people know before we call this a wrap? All I, you know, my tour is called Love Your World, so okay. I encourage you guys to love your world, make it something you love, uh, because it's our world. And if everybody starts putting in a little bit of love, I think mm -hmm. it, it'll just slowly but surely become a be much better place to be in. So love your world. <laughs> That's what it is. Vanessa Diaz is coming to you in the city really, really soon. So keep it locked. What's up? This is Marty A. Johnson. I'm looking to feature some of the hottest singers, rappers, producers in the area. If you think you got it pop and you want to be a guest on my show, this is what you need to do. Send me a demo of your material to The Music Lounge, P.O. Box 30594, Raleigh, NC, 27622. Now, if you have access to the internet, be sure to hit me up on my official website at MartyAJohnson.com. Remember, that's MartyAJohnson.com. You can see the clicks and links on how to be a guest. If you have none of that information, remember, that's MartyAJohnson.com. What's up? This is Marty A. Johnson. Right now, I'm here in Raleigh, North Carolina, right here at Banana Republic. I'm sitting here with Bo of Aerial Down. What's going on, Bo? What's up, Marty? How you doing, my man? Yo, it's good, a, to see you, baby. good to see you. Yo, it's been a long time coming. You may not know, but I've been checking out your music. I've been seeing what you've been doing. I like what I like it. I really, really. But let's let everyone know how you get started in this business. Man, about eight years ago, we decided to do this full time. We put the band together for, from some local cats from right here in Raleigh. Uh -huh. We're a North Carolina band, very proud of it. We've toured coast to coast all over the country from New York to L.A., and we represent Raleigh everywhere we go, man. That's good because, you know, a lot of times people forget where they come from. So you're definitely representing Raleigh all day. So you think um, you got the way you're supposed to be right now in this business? Because eight years is a long time, eight. hustling and bustling. So you guys pretty much thinking you guys are where you're supposed to be? 
man, the original goal was to set out and to reach people with our music. Okay. And, you know, we've been, again, from coast to coast. Mm -hmm. You know, June 6th, we're leaving for Guam. We're, we're playing over in Guam. Okay. Uh, we come home for a few days, and then we're off to Honduras, Curacao, and then Cuba. We come home again for a few days, and then we're off to Bahrain and the Persian Gulf to play for our men and okay. women that serve in our military. And uh, we'll come home from that, off to Hawaii, back from that, and then we're in China. So when we are from Raleigh, we're not home a lot. We do what we do. Right. You know, we, we try to stay local as much as we can with right. the NC State Wolfpack and with the Carolina Hurricanes, mm -hmm. you know, mad love to the Canes, man, we're Caniacs. And then when we're home for a few days, we try to get involved in our community and give back while we're home here because we love North Carolina, Raleigh, and humanity so much. You know what? I love North Carolina too because everyone don't know, you know, Carolina just gets so overshadowed from so many other cities and so many other states right now. So when you get back to the community, what's some of the positive message that you really try to give out there? We, you know, I give um, open forum lectures, okay. conversations on how to make a living in the creative arts, whether it's art colleges, uh, speak at art colleges, high schools, wherever we're welcome. Man. And we go in there and do a little acoustic per a performance for everyone, and then we talk about the arts and making a living in the arts. Okay. And then also, we work in our communities, man. We work very closely with Passage Home. We're going to have Gene talk to you a little bit about Passage Home and what they do in our community and just giving back, man. Because to me, that's as artists, that's what we need to do. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, we can inspire and encourage others to do that as well, to give back to our fellow humans. You know, I'm really excited to talk to Gene in the next segment. So, But let everyone know a little bit more about you guys, some other stuff that y'all been working on. I know we got Passage Home that y'all been doing. But also, how did y'all hook up with uh, Carolina Canes? You know, we did a song back in the late 90s, man, right. and then That's we big, re we recorded a song called Hurricane Warning mm -hmm. in 2008. Mm -hmm. And so one of the Kane staff over there got a hold of it, and he they approached us and said, hey, we love this song. Okay. Could we license it and use it for our official anthem for the hockey team? I said, man, I'll do you one better. We'll recut the vocals wow. to say the Carolina Hurricanes. So we changed the course and kind of, you know, formulated that song just for them, man. Wow. And so they played at the arena. It's played at every home game. We have since done a video with NHL future Hall of Famer and legend Rod Brindamore. Okay. That's online. You can check it out on our YouTube. And uh, yeah, go Canes, man. Yo, go Aerial Downs, too. <laughs> that's definitely Thanks, that's definitely Thanks, definitely man. a good thing. So what um, things do we can be looking out for from you guys? You know, we got the tour. You're going overseas. You're going to the Carolinas, things like that. Do you think a lot of bands are so much overshadowed in this business? Because a lot of things are so over but like yeah. um, auto tunes and they really don't go back to the main no main doubt. focus no to the music doubt. so you have a problem people do like auto tunes stuff like that you know what it's all one love man okay. however you can create Marty create now right. us personally we're an acoustic kit and okay. rock rock guitars right? right it all comes from us there's not we don't sample much or anything like that but that don't mean it's not cool man if that's the way you want to do it man mix it up sample it because it's all love and it, there's a place for everybody to shine man yes wherever floats your boats pretty there much you go right so all love all love well, so my last my last question for you is what about eight years you've been doing it hustling and bustling you know a lot of times when people with this day and age they can do like a reality show and after two or three months they have international superstardom right, right. like not even paying their dues so you pretty much have a problem like that when people just you know get a quick fix so to speak you know again it's all love you know right. some people want to take the fast track that's great man take the fast track we chose to take the scenic route right and we're going the long way around we love what we do mm -hmm. man we love being that independent artist from north carolina right. we love being that underground scene man and we reach people man we sold hundreds hundreds of thousands of records cds we keep doing what we're doing man and we're happy right it's about reaching people yeah. when you, you know when you say success people think fame and fortune yeah. For yeah. us, it's about reaching people, and that's what we're and giving doing. back. Giving back, baby. <laughs> that's it. All right. So, how can we find out more about you and Aerial Down? We've got CDs, we've got videos, we've got DVDs, T-shirts. AerialDown.net. It's A I R I E L D O W N. Um, got a Twitter. In. Got a Twitter, bro. Got a Facebook. You know, we do all the social media. We okay. try to stay we close. To. We stay close. You know, call me. That's the quickest way yeah. to get a hold yeah. of me, baby. I, <laughs> that's the quickest way to get a hold of me. That's definitely what it is. You guys, keep it locked. We got more to come with Passes Home. But for more information on Aerial Down, y'all know what to do. Visit Bo's website at aerialdown.net. So keep it locked. One love. Welcome back. This is still your man, Marty A. Johnson. Y'all just checked out Bo in the first segment of Aerial Down. Right now, I'm, I'm talking with Gene of Passes Home. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you this evening? I'm doing great. So let everyone know a little bit more about Passes Home. Okay, Passage Home is a local Raleigh Community Development Corporation, and our purpose is to help families and neighborhoods get out of poverty. Wow, so how long have you been doing this? Uh, since 1991, and uh, we started as a small uh, 
community-based organization, and we've grown to be a, a fairly substantial nonprofit in the Wake County community. You know what, that's really, really good, because a lot of times people don't know about there's so many outlets out there that can help people in that time of need right now. Do you think that a lot of people don't, don't know about Patches Home? We're, we're trying to get our word out. We're a local organization, and we're not a big box nonprofit. We're small, community-grown, grassroots, and we help people who are really, you know, down on their luck. We give a hand up, not a handout. That's good. So it really doesn't matter what the situation is, whether they lost their homes, lost their jobs, whether they're, you know, need help with a little bit of bills, things like that. So y'all pretty much help them a little bit of a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. We really help families, particularly who are homeless, mm -hmm. and women with children coming out of uh, the prison system. Okay. And we work with um, families in very low and uh, low wealth, poor neighborhoods. Okay. What are the requirements? So pretty much you have to be like a Wake County resident. Can anyone yeah, from can. Durham County, Cumberland County, or they pretty much have to be living in Wake County, which is Raleigh? Usually we help people who are living in Raleigh and Wake County. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we don't, um, we don't really go out too far out of the community. Okay, okay. So what other things that you guys have been doing to pretty much get your name out there and help the community? Are y'all Because I know you're right here now at Banana Republic in Raleigh. What other things y'all been doing just to get back to the community? We have been working with the Banana Republic, with Bear Crop Science. We're getting ready to do a Jimmy Wayne um, evening with Jimmy Wayne wow. uh, down at the Downtown Marriott in Raleigh on June 2nd. And that's going to be an exciting event, and we hope that everybody will come out and join us. If my schedule is free, I can see if I can squeeze in here just we for a couple of minutes. would love for you to be there. So tell me a little bit more about Pastor's Home, like in general. You think 20 years is a long time long time so y'all pretty much think y'all we supposed to be pretty much like getting all that assistance from the state and the government as far as funding and all that how can people help out it's been a really it's been a pretty rough time you know mm -hmm. um we've been cut by the state we've been cut by the county we've been, been cut by the city um it's really a very difficult time and so mm -hmm. we're really appreciative of uh companies like bear, bear crop science and banana republic that are really reaching out to help us so y'all pretty much need funding, pretty much. We're in need of funding. And if somebody would like to help, they could go to our website at www.passagehome.org, and there are great ways to um, write online okay. to give support. Okay, we got passagehomes.org. Where are you guys located in Raleigh? We're, we're located in a couple of places in South Raleigh and West Raleigh. Okay. So is there a phone number that people, because I have a million people that watch me every week, so let everyone know like the phone number also. Okay, 919-834-0666. Call me at extension 230. That is Jean. That is Jean. America, the whole wide world, please support Passage Home. For more information on them, y'all remember the website, which is passagehome.org. So please, please help everyone. We're in a crisis right now. So remember, that's PassageHome.org. Gene, I appreciate it so much. Just taking the time out talking I to me. I appreciate it, too. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Yo, this is Marty A. Johnson. Y'all just keep a lot. All right, this concludes this edition of the Music Lounge. But before I let y'all go, I want to thank Passage Home and, of course, Ariel Down for chilling out with me on this edition of the Music Lounge. But, yo, be sure to check out aerodown.net they got the hot cds they got the dvds and some exclusive tracks just for you remember that's aerodown.net so for more information on this show y'all know what to do hit me up on twitter at twitter.com backslash marty a johnson of course i'm marty a johnson and i'm gonna get at y'all next time <laughs> Mark, 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 Mark,